So the first example we're going to look at is find the sum uh, from r is 1 to n of 4r squared plus 1. So what you need to know that you can do first is that we can split the summation up. So the first thing is we can split the summation up into the sum of 4r squared from r is 1 to n plus the summation of 1 from r is 1 to n. So effectively, you can break the bracket apart, OK? And look at the sum of this term plus the sum of that term, OK? That's the first thing that we're going to do. Now, with this term, OK, we can actually bring factor the 4 out, OK? We can bring the 4 out to the front of the summation and say it's 4 times the summation of r squared from r is 1 to n plus the summation from r is 1 to n of 1. So if you've got 4r squared or 10r squared, you can bring 4 the 10 out, OK? You can bring that factor out, that multiplier out. So what you're left with is 4 lots of something that we know. So remember, this is what's in the formula booklet. So we can use these straight from the formula booklet without saying anything else, OK? We can bring this straight in. So we've got 4 lots of 1 sixth n, n plus 1 times 2n plus 1, plus the sum from r is 1 to n of 1, which is n. OK? So our job here is to simplify this. We want to write it as one single term. OK, so in order to do that, we're going to have to uh, factorise. So firstly, 4 times 1 sixth, let's simplify that, that's 2 thirds. n, n plus 1, 2n plus 1, plus n. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to look at these two terms and think, right, what do they both have in common? So they both have the n involved. So I know that n can be factored out of both terms. Now, the fact that there's this 2 thirds here, that causes a little bit of a problem because I'm thinking, well, I don't particularly want to have fractions inside my bracket. So I want to see if I can factor any problem fractions out. If I factor out 2 thirds, I'm going to have to then have a 3 halves involved in order for the 2 thirds times 3 halves to make 1 which I don't want to have to deal with. So I don't want three halves in there. So I don't want two thirds. If I just factor out one third, then I know I'm going to have the two there can stay. And here I can just have three. And so I keep nice uh, integers inside my bracket. So I've got the uh, two from that. I've got the n plus 1, I've got the 2n plus 1. OK? Plus, so that times that will make that. OK? 1 third n times what will make n? Well, it would just be 3. OK? So 1 third n times 3 will make the n. OK, so now I want to expand this out. So we've got the 2 times n times 2n, so that would be 4n squared. We're going to get uh, 2n plus n, so 3n times 2, so 6n. And then 1 times 1 times 2 makes 2. And we've still got that plus 3 on the end. So 1 third n 4n squared plus 6n plus 5. And so that is as good as I can really get it. OK? Now, I might want to double check, does that factorise? OK? So I'll just pop it into my quadratic solver just to double check. So 4, 6, 5. But unfortunately, it doesn't. OK? So it's got no real solutions. So that is as good as I can go. OK, so this, the sum of this is equal to this. So if you knew what n was, so if you said I want the sum from 1 to 10, you could substitute 10 into this and that will give you your sum.